Welcome to my System.io ClickBank tutorial. Here I'm going to be showing you how to use System.io to promote ClickBank offers and it's pretty easy to do. If you'd like to follow along with me, I will leave a link in the description and if you click that, you can try System.io for free and follow along with me. So. For this example, what I got is a ClickBank offer. Ideally, we want to be using an offer with that when you opt in to a landing page, you can send them to a landing page or your affiliate link that has a video. This one has a video on it, which is going to work perfect for the method that we're going to be using. Okay, so regardless of the offer that you're going to be choosing, simply find one that is similar, obviously in your niche, and then go from there. We're actually going to be working backwards here. Okay, so what we want to start off with is our email, which is going to be the first follow up email. And then from there, we're going to be using a funnel so that we can go back and connect it. In that case, what we want to do here is go to emails and click on campaigns, which is where I am. Let's do create. All right, and for this, it doesn't really matter what you call it as long as you know what it's all about. So I just put the name of the offer is going to be his secret obsession and click on save. Great. And what we want to do is click on the name right here. It's going to say, oops, it looks like this list is empty. Obviously, since we just created it, let's change that. Let's click on create on the right side. All right, and so here's another great thing about when it comes to ClickBank. If you look at their affiliate page, a lot of times they're gonna have a lot of done for you emails for you. So what we can do is actually go into here. I have the JV page. If we look up top, we have emails. And if we click here, we can just do say single promo emails. That's gonna be fine. And look at this, there's plenty of email swipes that we can use here. So this subject is going to be next time your man shuts you out, do this. I'm just gonna utilize this one and let's click on save. Okay. And let's go back over here and I'm just going to copy and paste this. Now, normally you can copy and paste though. There's one right here. Let's do it for us. Sure. Now I'd recommend changing it around a little just because you know, it's, if people are in this niche, they've probably seen the same thing every time. You can easily do that with like chat GPT or just add your own flavor to it. But just for the sake of keeping this tutorial a little bit quicker, uh, I'm just going to, you know, keep it in there what it has. So right here is going to be as plain as day, you know, link is going to be here. So, what I'm gonna do here is just link this. I'm gonna pretend that this is my affiliate link, okay? You know where to, I'm sure you know where to grab your ClickBank affiliate link. If you don't, I believe I have a tutorial for that. Just leave a comment down below. So that would be the affiliate link there and also right here. Okay, so we have our affiliate links. Keep in mind, it's not gonna be the basic link, like I said, and then you know, sign off, James, something like that. Okay, that would be the email. So it looks good and everything looks good. We don't need any attachments. I'm just gonna do save and publish. So ideally what happens is when someone opts in, they're gonna get this in the background. So I'm gonna do save and publish and perfect. So given the fact this is the first email, it's not gonna be after any other emails and we want to delay this for a zero. We want it right away. So let's click on activate. And just like that, we have gone and created an email campaign, at least just one of them in there. So if we go to campaigns there, we're gonna see that his secret obsession, we have that one right there. We are good to go. And that's why I talked about doing it backwards because once we create our funnel, which is next, we can connect that. Okay, so let's go to funnels right here and let's do create new one. So once again, I'm just gonna give this a name of his secret obsession. Obviously you could call it of the niche, anything you want, it's really up to you. For this, we wanna build an audience and let's click on save. And let's click on the actual funnel that we just created so that we can edit it. All right, and you'll notice we have a squeeze page and a thank you page. There are gonna be many times where you wanna use a thank you page, but for this specific tutorial, there's a lot of ways of doing it always, right? Uh, it's just gonna be a single page to make your life so much easier. What's good about this, I'm gonna click on 30 here. I'm gonna be looking for one that's a little further into the uh, templates. And as I was saying, what's good about this, it allows you to get up and running very quickly. Like if I wasn't talking and explaining a lot of the things here, I could probably have this done in five minutes, I would say. Well, let's see, let's scroll down. There's gonna be one where there's a image back. There we are. So there's two right here. I like these, they're just so easy to edit. They're clean, they're simple, not a whole lot going on there. And I like those the best. So you can actually just preview it here if you want. I do have an image for the background. We can change as well. I'll show you how to get those. Let's click on here and just or hover over it and click on select. I'm just gonna call it like free video. And let's do like same thing for the URL. Great, and we already saw what it looks like, so we can just go to edit page right here. All right, so there are a couple things we wanna change here. First and foremost, just starting off on square one. I don't like adding name. I really don't think you need it, and the more blocks you have here, the less chances are someone's gonna opt in. So we just have email. I think that's gonna be perfectly fine. So let's delete that. 
What I want to do is copy this. So I'm going to hover over this and click on the copy one and I'm going to move this up. Okay, now that I've dragged that up, you notice there's like a lot of white space there. So we can change this around so it's not so far from the top. And in terms of the bottom, there we go. And this we can change, let's see. Enter your best email below to see the video, okay? And this is just gonna be like, what are they gonna be seeing here? So we have free video reveals. Okay, so now we have our headline. The headline is the most important aspect of this. Now, if we go once again back over here, we can look at image and video ads. We can say like high converting banners. You'll notice some of these banners are going to be the best. So all we have to do is take some of the headlines from here and they are you are allowed to use them because it works perfectly with the VSL that they are going to be having. So free video reveals the number one reason men pull away. Let's see, the 12 word text that, text that makes him need you in his life. So it looks like these two right here, these two headlines are gonna be the best. Let's just go with one of them. The number one reason men pull away. So I like doing all caps. The number one reason men pull away. Okay, I'm gonna change this as well. So this is important right here. It says, send me the video training. What we can do, um, watch video instantly because they will once they enter their email so that's a good thing now here's the important part while we are clicked on here submit form is going to be great we don't want to go to the next step what we want to do is a custom url and this is going to be where your affiliate link goes okay i want to make sure i say that again that's where your affiliate link is going to go this isn't my affiliate link i didn't go in and like get mine i'm just using this to make my life easier so make sure that you redirect to your affiliate link on your clickbank offer okay very important there that's where that's going to go and one more thing here we have add automation rule I'm going back to this is the reason why we started off creating the email first, because if we didn't do that, we're not going to have automation to attach it to. So let's click on add automation rule. Let's do add action. And what we want to do is subscribe to campaign right there. So, and we're going to choose our campaign of his secret obsession, whatever you called yours, obviously, like I said, you're just, you created a name so that you know what it is specifically. And once you are done, simply click on save rule. Okay, I'm gonna save changes. We do have one more thing to change, but I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, and there's one more thing that looks, uh, you know, we might wanna change here, okay? So we have a background here, uh, just people on a Toyota. So what we wanna do is go to settings. And if we scroll down, we have background image. Now what we can do is upload a new one. I'm just gonna upload an image, so I'm gonna to go to select file. All right, and here we have an image of a woman just kinda of like texting using her phone. Okay, it might be a little bit too big. I don't know if we want repeat. We could do full center fixed. We could do, let's see, 100%, something like that. Just kind of play around with it. You know, really depends on how you want it to be. Repeat's gonna be way too big, but probably something like that, I'd say would be pretty good, okay? Then of course, if you wanted to change that, oh, and let me show you the site too. So the site I got him is gonna be Pexels. I just put like woman texting. There are plenty that you can use. Maybe you might want to use one where like the person is more on the left or the right side so you can see them better, right? Like say this one, what I'm going to do is go here. I'm going to download this one. I'll get the big size. Yeah, it should be good. Okay. And once again, I'm going to go to settings. Let's change this up. I'm going to upload it. Okay. And there's the picture. Let's do insert. So that one's a little bit better. At least you can see some of it. Like you can just once again, play around if you want to do like something like that probably looks better. There we go. So now you can actually see like a woman maybe texting someone. And of course, if we wanted to change this as well, we can scroll down here and we could probably get a little bit better of a color. I like green, you know, green for go, uh, a little bit too green, maybe something like that. I think that looks great. And let's click on save. And believe it or not, we are absolutely done with this. So what we can do is go back to the dashboard. Make sure you saved it, of course, after you've done all of that. Let's go back and let's view this funnel step. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just kind of enter in a uh, temporary email. So give me one second. I'm gonna add that in and click on watch video instantly. All right, and so after opting in, we are sent to the sales letter here. Now, once again, I do want to remind you that, remember, that would be your affiliate link. I am just using this as the example, but that's how you can get the click to your ClickBank affiliate link. You can also get the email where you can follow up with them. And of course, the good thing about a lot of these JV pages is that they come with emails that are done for you. If you go to email here and autoresponder emails, you're gonna see that you could send like this on the next day, this one on the next day, this one, and then this one, and so on and so forth. So 
plenty of emails and other things that you can utilize as an affiliate, which is good, but that's gonna be my ClickBank and System.io tutorial, how you can set up a one-step funnel using System.io, capture leads, get clicks to your ClickBank links, and of course, make some commissions in the process. I hope this helps you out, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Of course, if you wanna test out System, they do come with the ability to try them for free. You do get a good amount of free features with their free plan, which is always a good thing, so feel free to check that out. My name is James, and I find it <laughs> very ironic that this person's name is James as well as I was saying that. Nevertheless, my name is James. Have a good one, and I will see you soon.